Hi, today in this video, we will create a simple login page using MBBM architecture, data winding with live data. So let's get started. First, we create our project, select empty activity, click on next, name of your application. I am selecting language Java, click on finish. In my previous video, I have explained in detail what is MBBM architecture and data binding. So please watch that video. So before moving forward, you should be familiar with the significance of using data winding in Android. What is data winding? Data winding is a process that winds view in an XML layout with data object. So to enable data winding in your application, what you have to do is open build.google app level and here inside the Android, we enable our data winding this code to enable the data winding i'll provide in description box now after enable this data winding we add some required dependencies then click on sync now now we will create a model class to create a package model and inside the model package we create a model class then we create view model package inside this view model we create a java class this is our model class this is our view model class and this is our view mbbm mbbm means model view view model so first is model class this class holds the data of the application it cannot directly interact with the view it interact to the view using view model now the view model and this class act as a link between the model and the view it is responsible for transferring the data from the model to the view and view it represents the ui of the application so i hope you understand what is model view view model so mbbm model view view model here view model act as a link between model and view it is responsible to take the data from the model and transfer to the view and the model class holds the data of the application and view represents the ui of the application first open model class and this class holds the user email and password let's create a constructor like both then we create getter and setter. As this class hold the data of the application, so this class hold email and password of the user. Now we create a method that will check our email is valid or not. method check our email is valid or not here we use patterns to check our emails then we check a password length Open activity main.xml. So in data binding, our root tag is layout. And then we use a data tag for the binding. And then we create variable using variable tag. Here you can give any name. Here we pass the path to the view model class. So this is our view model class. I copy this, paste it here. And here we create a variable of type view model object. Now we add a text box.
we create edit text for email and password Here we bind our text box with our variable. So what we have to do is here we use our view model class. This to edit text. And similarly, we create edit text for password. We create a button. We change input type. Here on click, we will create a method inside the login view model class. Now click on login view model class. This is a view model class, which is act as a link between the model class and the view. It takes the data from the model class and transfer to the view. So inside this class, we will use live data. Live data is in a data holder, or you can say a container. This allow the components in your app to be able to observe live data object for changes without creating any explicit dependency path between them. It also provides a great benefit. It respects the life cycle state in your app components such as activity life cycle, fragment life cycle, and it also handles object life cycle management, which ensure that the live data object do not leak. Here we extend view model. We change the observable field to mutable live data as mutable live data would be automatically update in layout. So here I'm creating email and password of type mutable. create a method that will get the user details. Now we will work on on click method. Here we get the values from our model class. I'll open main activity.xml. Here we create a variable of type new model. Builder Gradle app level, and here we a notation processor. Here add in a notation processor, then click on sync now. 
back to the main activity dot java so this is activity main binding this is a generated class this class hold all the binding from the layout properties to the layout views and knows how to assign value for the binding expression here we use data binding util this class we use for binding view model updates the model after observing changes in the view and model will also update the view by the view model then we set life cycle owner here we pass this now we will get the data from view model we use observe method and this observe method takes the life cycle owner object and this subscribe the observer object to the live data object so that it is notify the changes so whenever there is any changes it notify to the view model so it can so it control what happen when live data changes so first we check our email id we check our email is valid or not similarly for the password now run the project so here you can see login page that we have created using mbbm data binding and live data so here we enter our email id and password now click here to login here you can see the toast message now click on button here you can see the toast messages if i enter the password less than 8 characters it show the error please enter the password greater than 8 if i enter in valid gmail id it will show the error please enter a valid email id so this is our simple login page so in this project we use mbbm model view view model this is a model view model and view so model holds the data 
for our application view model act as a link that takes the data from the model and transfer to the view and view is responsible for the ui and data winding is a library that allow you to wind your ui component in your layout to the data sources in your app using a declarative format so here we create a variable that wind our layout component like text, edit text, etc. to our data sources. Here you can see we did not use find view by ID to fetch the ID from the XML layout because we find our UI component in our layout to the data sources in our app. So here inside the view model, we use live data, which is an observable class that is lifecycle aware means it respect the life cycle of other app components such as activity fragment and services so when i close this app all the toast messages are disappear it will not display after closing the app so live data is taking care of the life cycle of other app components such as activity and fragments thank you for watching my video Please like and subscribe my channel and share your feedback in comment section. Thank you.